So today is a different type of talk. So today I received a message from a special person, Shakora, and she asked if I could just do a segment on just shoes alone. And so I was like, sure, what are you looking for? And she said, I want to see some wedges, platforms. I want to see how to transform a shoe from day to night. And I was like up for the challenge. So I decided to pick a color that would just make me feel great. And so the color I chose was green. Now, before we start, <laughs> let me just talk about the challenge it is to do something like this because often as women we can judge one another and so if i'm about to show you my green collection and you might be like okay if that's your green collection what does the rest look like and i'm telling yes it's it's a lot but let me preface it with this. I'm 53, and since I was a little girl, I loved, 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 loved shoes. I remember the first time my mother took me to the shoe store, Cuyo, in Faneuil Hall. I was 13 years old. I can still see the penny loafers in my head. They were the most beautiful penny loafers. So 13, I was 13, 40 years ago. 40. I'm 53. Let's. I'm not saying every 53 year old has a collection of shoes like I have. I'm just talking about this 53 year old. If I had the time to put like the pop ups and everything, I would have something pop up that goes 5, 3, 53. That's how old I am. Okay. So I was 13, 40 years ago. Coolio Faneuil Hall. We walk in and I see these penny loafers, beautiful. They had a red around the toe area, gray patent leather in the middle, where you put the penny was yellow and the back of it was like a turquoise blue. I, and oh, it also had a little tiny bit of purple, I think around the perimeter, some kind of way. I picked them up and they were $100. $100 40 years ago was a lot of money. I literally stood in the store and I asked my mother, please get these shoes for me. Her answer, I can't really say her answer because she wasn't a Christian at the time. I didn't know Jesus. And she like swore, like, no, you, I am not paying a hundred dollars for a 13 year old. Are you kidding me? And I cried the entire day crying. I'm not even exaggerating, crying. So that's just an introduction into my love for shoes. Okay. So I'm starting with the green collection because I'm ready for it to be spring. I'm ready for the trees to have leaves. I'm ready for the grass to be lush and I'm just ready. So I figured, let me do green because I can show everything that Shakira, Shakira asked me to show. I have too many friends, Shakira, Shakira, Shamia, Shamaya. I'm too, I mean, sha, 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 sha. So I said, you know what? I think I can do that for you because I haven't done a segment on just shoes and it would actually be kind of fun. Um, not to say that every time you send me something, I could do it, but this was like a challenge and I love a good challenge and I love a good shoe. So I'm showing all things shoes from, you'll see, you'll, you'll see what I'm about to do. Okay. So I just want you to Follow me. So the first thing I'm gonna show is um, shoe storage because shoe storage is so important. I mean, I 
anyone who knows me, pristine. Like I don't play with my shoes. Like if the if the tip of the heel is starting to come off or it's scuffed or it's messed up, no, I have to fix that. And so I'm gonna show you some things you could do to keep your shoes in shape. Um, I'm gonna show you some foot care because taking care of your feet is important. And um, some shoe accessories, some shoe books, and some things that you could put inside your shoes. So here we go, I'm so excited. So I'm so excited that you could join me. I have my nice little music playing in the background. This is so relaxing for me like this. I swear to you, like, this is just brings me so much joy. Like, I just can't even tell you. So anyway, we're gonna start. I'm gonna start with the sandals. Um, so this is, it's so cute. I say everything is cute, everything is lovely. I love this, like, my aunt, I'm telling you, when she sits in my closet with me, she's like, Mona, you can never get rid of anything because you love everything. Like, but I am getting rid of stuff. I'm that like that was history. Like I'm, I'm, I'm working my way through. So anyway, these are. Oh, these are um, Fergie, the singer Fergie. So this is Fergalicious. Is that what it's called? Yeah, Fergalicious. This is her shoe lines. I have a few pair of her shoes. They were really cute. So this is like a gladiator. Isn't it really cute? I was gonna pair this with something the other day, but I think I'm gonna wait. But this is a gladiator. I feel like you can dress this up or down. You could wear it with a pair of shorts or like a flowy, like hobo dress, like, you know, the long flowy ones. This I think is just, it's such a cute little sandal. It has like a lot of detail. Like I love like detail like this, like, they're like grommets. And then a simple heel. This is by Tahari. So I feel like you could wear this, like this is nice with a suit. So I would kind of say this is business wear or a cute dress. Um, and I love this color green. I mean, I have a swatch. I don't, I don't want to say what color green it is, but it's like a, it's a lighter green, not quite mint green and not like a deep green, but just a nice, you know, cross-woven classic T-strap sandal. I love this. This is, you know, anything with a tassel. I love a tassel. So this is what caught my eye with these. Of course, the hardware, because I love grommets. The side zip. Oh, I think I said the other ones were by Tahari. Tahari. Tahari does a nice suit. Okay, these are by Guess. So side zipper, suede, almost like a, you know, ankle, like an ankle booty, but a sandal, strappy, really cute. You could dress this up or down, but this is a fun shoe, very comfortable. This is where it gets exciting. So this is a suede, um, okay. Here's the thing about me. I love color, pattern, fabric, hardware. I love platforms, I love pointy, I love round. I love shoes and I'm a creator so Sometimes the colors are so intriguing to me. This is why I'm on a shopping fast. So, you know, Noemi uh, said to me, I don't know if you wanna do a vlog because, you know, some, some people, you know, my generation, she's a millennial, my generation may, you know, think you're into consumerism. I was. I was, but I'm over it. I'm so over it now. And, you know, I'm just going through my stuff. I'm trying to figure it out. What do I want? What do I don't, what don't I want? You know, I know I'm not shopping for a year, possibly two, possibly three, I don't know, but I'm figuring it out as I go. So 
This is a great journey for me and I'm so glad that you're joining me because I believe that this will encourage someone else that maybe you're not just like me, but maybe similar, okay? And so anyway, back to shoe talk. So this is, a, you know, a slight platform, but I love, it's like a metallic -y green um, heel and platform and then the trim, and then it's a dark green suede. This is Nine West. This is Nine West back in the day. I loved Nine West. Like they would come out with styles like this, but so, so, so cute. I love this shoe. I mean, of course I love every shoe I have. That's, I mean, obviously that's why I bought it. This is Steve Madden Lux. And when I saw this shoe, it's satin and the detail, I mean, and it's so comfy. So it's a hidden platform. So it's a peak toe platform, but then it has these crystals, you know, this little ball crystal thing. It, they are so beautiful on. I mean, the shape, look at that shape. Isn't that gorgeous? That's kind of a dressy shoe, but then, you know, I love how they're doing, you know, you can take like a, a jean and a t-shirt with a cute little blazer and some nice shoes and you have a whole look, a whole mood. Now this one is a little different, but I love this shoe. I just love everything about it. So this is Nine West Studio. This was kind of like their boutique line. So it was kind of like one of a kinds. But first of all, I love that the heel is round. Like these are the kind of things that I like. Like I love the round heel. I love the detail. So it's a green, almost like a spectator. Um, Cause you see the spectator design here, but the color underneath is hot pink, just like on the inside of the shoe. So I love details like that. And then it's trimmed in like a yellow like thread. Ankle strap. I mean, it's so cute. This little, I don't know, this reminds me like of an elf. So the little elf front, little square toe, like almost like a ballerina flat. But all those details are just, oh my God, so beautiful. I showed um, I showed this shoe in one of the videos um, with a suit, I believe. So this is Just Fab Lux. I don't know if they still have Lux. I used to belong to Just Fab. I don't anymore. Um, I stopped that subscription years ago. It was it was too much. Um, but just a classic, like kind of reminds me of like a Jackie O shoe but it's a, a suede, a Kelly green, double bow. I put, this is an instep that I have because the it's kind of high and in order to be comfortable, I needed a gel insert inside and I'm gonna show you my um, shoe little bag that has stuff in it to help me if something's hurting or needs a little stretch or whatever. So just fit. I've shown a couple of shoes by Halston um, that used to be sold at Baker's and I love, this is a wedge. So look at, look at all that detail. So these are like studs, but it's not, it's like, it's a different type of wedge. It's like a wedge with a heel. So all of this is a wedge, comes around to the front, kind of comes up a little bit, angles up. All, this is like Loden green. So, but it's beautiful suede. Isn't that beautiful? Just such a nice detailed shoe, but very simple. And that's Halston. So this is Rachel Roy and I, oh my God, you can already tell like details on shoes I love. So look at that heel. It's so industrial. Um, and then this is patent leather sparkle. And then it's like patent leather sparkly trimmed in black. I mean, this shoe. Now this is a fun shoe with a pair of jeans. 
and a blaze. This is really cute, but it's also really cute with like an all white suit and this poppin'. So cute. But that heel, look at that heel. It reminds me of like a building in Dubai. So now let me just talk about storage. So I get these little boxes from Ikea. Wait, did I get this from Ikea? No, this actually is not from Ikea. This is from the container store for heels, but I um, figured out how to put two pairs of shoes in. So if you notice, I have, I have the shoes go this way, opposite, and then I'll put the other shoe in the opposite way so it's so I get two pair instead of one so I double up on storage so I think it's really important to keep your shoes stored well because then it preserves them and if you're like me and you're not shopping for a very long time you want to keep your stuff in pristine condition This is, so that box is from Container Store, but this box is from Ikea. So I get this for my boots. And as you can see, I have two pair of boots in here. I just, you know, put them the opposite way. And I will show you. So I have two pair of green boots. Um, both are very old, but you will see they're in amazing condition. I believe these are from, uh, oh, these are Steve Madden. I thought they were from Aldo, but they have the grip bottom. It's a point, so you could tell it's it's older, but now the points are out again. Every, every I mean, you know what? Whatever your personal style is, if you can rock it and you have confidence in it, hey, do you do you. You, you make it work for you. But anyway, so cute little boots. See the hardware up here, side zipper. It comes, you know, a little over the calf, not quite up to the knee. Um, again, that was Steve Madden. This, when I saw this boot, and I'm trying to remember who it's. Oh yeah, this is one of my favorite. This is another one, me and my mom. <laughs> when I was growing up, she would be like, where did you come from? Because I was in love with Via Spiga, but she was just like, you don't have Via Spiga money. And when you get a job, then you can get your own stuff. But these are Via Spiga. This is also a load in green. Um, it has a zipper so you don't have to unlace, but it goes, it's a, goes right up to the knee boot. But so cute and I love, you know, the bottom. And you can see these were from Marshalls <laughs> or TJ Maxx, one of them, because you still see the price on the bottom. But anyway, I've had these for quite some time. Um, there's a woman, Santara, and hopefully, I don't know if you watch this, Santara, but I'm going to tag you. But Santara one time did a workshop at our women's conference, and she talked about rate per wear. So it looks like these were $130. Maybe I got them on sale. I probably did, because I don't think I would have paid $130. Um, but say I paid 99 because that's usually how it goes. The markdowns go at um, Marshalls or TJ Maxx. So if I wear them 10 times, my rate per wear would be $10 every time I wear them. So when you buy something and you know you're going to wear it a lot, you just take how many times you think you're going to wear it and divide it by how much it costs and you get rate per wear. So again, if these cost me $100 and I wore them 10 times, that means I paid $10 every time I wore them. I think that's a good deal. So anyway, so those are my green boots. I actually have this really cute green booty. This is like a teal green. Look at this little heel. It's like a kitten heel, side zipper, a little bow in the front with some rhinestones. I got these in Dubai, so when I wear them, it makes me think of Dubai. Yes, I put my boots on my face. All right, so now we're going to move over to the sneakers, and then we're going to get to the accessories, and then we'll be at the end. So, 
I have these green pumas. I love these pumas. They're so comfy. So I think it's important to make sure like, you know, when you're running around, I like to keep my sneaker game up. So this is like a, I don't know what kind of green you would call this, but cute pink on the inside. And then don't even ask me why, but I love these sneakers. They are so heavy, but they are so cute with like mom jeans or boyfriend jeans. And I just love when Rihanna had this line with Puma. So these are Fenty by Rihanna, the big heel. They remind me of my niece, Kayla. Um, but they're so cute. I love the inside was like plaid. I just love details like that. That just shows me that someone like took the time to think of everything. But they're so comfy. They give you a little platform. They're really, really cute with some nice joggers. Um, a little jean jacket. It's really cute. Fenty by Rihanna. Also, I am very big on shoe bags. So when I travel, all of my shoes are always in shoe bags. Anyone who travels with me, they will tell you. When I take my shoes out of my uh, suitcase, they are in shoe bags. Okay, so let's talk about some shoe accessories. So I keep all my shoe accessories in one place. So if I had a plain shoe, like I don't really have a plain shoe over here, but I can show you um, something. So you can find shoe accessories like these are from Aldo's. Um, I usually have them like, I'll show you. I haven't taken these off of the uh, thin yet because I haven't used them. But I wanna show you something that you could do. This might take too long, so I might get another thing. But anyway, um, yeah, it's taking too long. So I'm gonna show you something you could do. But that little pom-pom just would have been so cute. This doesn't necessarily match this, this particular shoe, but I wanna show you. So this is an accessory, a shoe accessory. It has a clip in the back. And if this were like a plain shoe, you could take it, put the clip on, voila, you just made a brand new shoe. One of the things Shakora asked about is how do you take a shoe from daytime to evening? So that would be like if this were a plain shoe, that would be a way that you could take it from day to evening. So I love these. I think they're really great for taking a shoe, a plain shoe, and jazzing it up. This is the accessory I was gonna show you. I was gonna put that on like this cute little pom-pom. Um, another thing that I like to do is, you know the bracelets that you can like, you can get them and they wrap around your wrist like, that, like such? Sometimes what I'll do is, I'll take a plain boot and I will take a wrap around bracelet and I'll wrap it around my boot to give it some life. This one is a little wide, so it'll be a little harder, but I could still do it. So look at that boot. And that's a bracelet. So cute. You could take an anklet, a bracelet and jazz up your boots. So cute, right? So whenever I see them, if I see two, they have to be on clearance for me. I'm sorry. I, that's just, or they had to be. Let's just talk past tense. <laughs> okay. So, and then again, I am of the mindset that everything has a place. So I like to keep all my stuff in little bags. Um to keep everything together so that when I'm looking for something. Another thing that I do is if I see a uh, like a brooch on sale for a good price and it's cute and I know I can 
you know, take it and make a shoe knife. I will, I mean, it doesn't necessarily work on this one, but that's just a pin. So I could put that pin on there and then just change a shoe altogether. And it has to be a shoe that you can get the pin through and that you don't care about. Or if you had a pair of old shoes and you're like, I like these, they were comfortable, I wanna do something different, you could hot glue it or glue it onto the top and just kind of leave it there permanently. So those are all my, oh, this is a, these are cute. This is called a heel ring. So you know how you can buy the little rings like to wear at the top of your fingers? You can also put them on your shoes. Put them right on the tip of the heel. I don't think I have a, oh, yeah, I do. Let me show you, because it's really cute. So say I wanted to do something on here. See what I'm saying? I'm telling you, I'm showing you all these tricks. This is all free too. Cause I'm just sharing, I'm just sharing the goodness, you know? I mean, why keep it to myself? I had to tell somebody. And I think that was it. Oh, sometimes you can find um, hair clips. So these were little hair clips. And I thought they were so cute. And I was like, this would be cute on a shoe. Now, another thing that you could do on your shoe is you could add something to the back. So that's a little hair clip. Or you could take it and add it to the front. So you can get creative with what you have. I think I got these, like they were in like a markdown bin for like two or three bucks each. And I got a few of them. So those are shoe accessories. Then I keep a little bin of shoe care items. So I have a shoe horn, I have a brush, I'm cleaning out my closet, so my like shoe shine um, kit is somewhere. I don't know. I haven't been able to. I couldn't find it for this video. This is, um, you know, fabric cleaner for fabric shoes. I like to keep like foot pedals. Um, this is a shoe shiner. Uh, foot cushions. I have uh, some foot spray in my closet, some gel inserts that you can use in different shoes. So I think that's important when you're, you know, talking about foot care. I also like, especially at Marshalls or TJ Maxx, you can get like keratin gloves and socks to keep your feet moisturized. This was a spa essential kit that I think I got this in um, Ocean State Job Lot. Um, so this was a foot scrub and then this was a moisturizing foot sock, both disposable. Cause foot care is important. You gotta take care of your feet. Then um, someone gave this to me as a gift, but it's so great, a foot balm and a foot scrub. I'm not, I'm not endorsing any of this, but I'm just showing you, if I'm gonna, if I'm showing you shoes, I'm gonna show you everything that has to do with shoes. Cause shoes, foot care, foot accessories, how to take care of your shoes. Going to what's called a shoe cobbler, it's there few and far between, but like as soon, if this were to come off, as soon as it comes off, I'm at the shoe cobbler. Or say, you know how sometimes you walk and you might scrape something and then you see the inside of the shoe? hate that. So all you have to do is get a Sharpie marker that is close to the color of your shoe and just color it in. So you still look, it looks pristine. Nobody would ever know. That's how you take care of your shoes. Um, 
So then I have these cute little shoe accessories. I have a shoe opener, a uh, bottle opener. Someone gave this to me, a shoe bank for my shoe money. And then I love this scotch tape, a shoe tape dispenser. So anyway, we're coming to an end. I wanna show you some fun stuff. I love, I love like, I love books like this. So this is a vintage shoe book collecting and wearing 20th century designer footwear. So it just has like shoes from the 1930s, you know, all styles come back. So this is just, it's just a fun little book to go through. Then um, I showed you the, some of the storage bins that I use, but Ikea put out a book for clothes and shoe storage. Um, and so this, it's just a great book to give you examples of how you can store shoes. Um, actually, my sister, Celine, she stores her shoes like this. These are boxes that Ikea sells. Um, and they have it in the Calyx system. So yeah, so this is great because I like to get ideas. Maybe somebody's storing their shoes a way that I don't. And then um, this is on my bucket list to have a pair of Manalo Blahniks. So I have this, this book is so heavy. It's like a coffee table book and it has like all these beautiful styles in it. And then what shoe girl wouldn't want this book? Vogue the shoe. But it's so beautiful. Look how it opens. And look at the book on the inside. Let's just take a look at a few things. Oh, get this book out. I mean, look at this book. The case itself is gorgeous, but. So all these beautiful pictures from Vogue and the shoes. Look at those boots. Oh my gosh. So anyway, just beautiful. I love a good spec. Maybe, maybe another time I'll do some spectators. I have high heel spectators, low Oxfords. Oh my gosh. I love, I love those shoes. So anyway, um, the last thing that I want to show you invest in a good foot bath and maybe you know once a month or once a week you just soak your feet and like scrub off dead skin i i don't recommend letting them scrub your feet um at the nail salon i just think you should do it yourself but if you if you have to do it you do you do you you do you that's i'm just saying what i do and then my husband bought me this which oh you put your feet in and it heats and it massages and it, I mean, it is oh, so nice. So, I believe that's it. That's my shoe scape. It went a little long, but if you're into shoes, you'll go all the way to the end and you will be okay with it. So, my name is Mona. I'm 53. I chose not to shop during the sleep year, 366 days, and I'm so proud that I am on day, <sighs> oh my gosh, I'm almost at 100 days. I might be at 100 days. I might be at 100 days. And so, man, but going through all this stuff and being in quarantine has made me realize, like, I already knew I didn't need anything, but you know, going through every, I just really don't need anything. And again, I'm not making excuses because I'm 53, but I'm just, you know, the, the movie, The Greatest Showman, this is me. This is me. I am myself. I, this was perfect for me to say that. I, I just completely forgot I had this shirt on, but I am myself. There's no other person on the earth like me. Thank God that when he made me 53 years ago, he broke the mold and said, I will not make another one of her. And I'm telling you,
praise the Lord. So you have a good day. And until the next time we're together, peace out.